I found the most impressive stall here in Freaks Harbour. We've been looking at this for days and we're going to decide to come over and bother the guys here. Arona, Arona I believe the company's name is? Aronia. Aronia, yeah. sorry, my apologies. And, uh, sir, can you tell us who you are and uh, what, why you're here? Yeah, I'm Torsten, the CEO. And we are first time here because we had a new unit on the market. That's this uh, V6 Echo, that's how we called it. And it's a new uh, SDR or spectrum analyzer that's operating from 9 kilohertz to 8 gigahertz. And that's exactly fitting for the ham radio guys because it also has a TX. So we can transmit and receive uh, 44 megahertz IQ bandwidth uh, streaming with USB and also transmitting over USB. And that's quite interesting because we have a 16-bit ADC. So the dynamic is very, very nice. And it has a lot of pre-selectors inside, so it can also operate in very harsh environment. What's very interesting for the ham guys. Certainly is, certainly is. And you know, you now get me very excited and wishing I'm going to... I'm going to have to find out in a while about them, but they are very, very interesting. And we're standing in front of a massive wall here yeah. of your SDR uh, receivers running and looking at all sorts of things. This is phenomenal. What is it? Th over three terabytes? Terahertz. A terahertz. <laughs> Sorry. Over three no, terahertz. That's, that's only one unit running. That's only this one. Yeah. So it's the same like this, but this is a pre-stage with plastic housing. This is the final look. Yeah. And this is the, the new receiver, and that one can really push it up to or above 3 terahertz per second. That means that we can get the whole 6 gigahertz spectrum uh, in around 1.8 milliseconds. Right. That's faster than the human eye can see. Yeah. It can have about 30 to 60 times per second. And if you look at the spectrum, it's really real-time. And it's a sweep. It's not a real-time capture. All right. Yeah. I mean, yes, you're dead right, because it is very, very fast, very, very quick acting. And often, uh, you know, it, this is a next generation to me. I've never seen anything as good as this. It really is impressive. Yeah, so the first we had was one terahertz per second. That is the regular unit we have. And this one's three terahertz per second, so it's three times faster, because we have a double LO TikTok uh, patent on it. Yeah, and um, I think we will might push it in the future even faster, but then it will be, get more expensive. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, you buy quality, yeah. and uh, as I say, this is mega impressive. Um, do you do other models? I mean, this is what your base model, or right, so is it the exactly? So this is the cheapest we have. That's uh, one thousand five hundred euros for the base version and it has 44 megahertz iq bandwidth if you want higher bandwidth then we start with 80 megahertz bandwidth that's about 3500 uh, euros and you can go up to 245 megahertz iq bandwidth and then you are about 10,000 euros so so it's it's still affordable to yeah. a lot of people is it uh, certainly a very very interesting piece of equipment how long has the uh, company been around? Uh, 30 years now, but I started the company under other name with 16. Yeah. Now I'm 50, let me check, 58. <laughs> so that's quite a while ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a youngster then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bear with me. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is great, great. So this is one of your products. Um, do you do other things? Yeah, so this is only a part of a fraction of what we're doing. So we also do antennas, especially direction finding antennas and a lot of software. And we combine all together. Then we have a direction finding kit that does everything you need. Drive test or standalone antennas or triangulation antennas. And of course, our famous drone detection system, the Artos, uh, which is used, I think you know where. <laughs> And it's very, very popular, and that's where our main business is running. That's the drone detection. So this is just a spin-off to sell it here. So we make real no money with this one, but it's a lot of fun for us to sell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, you're you're getting to a different market with this one. Yeah. And in fairness, as you said to me at the start, this is the first time you've been to Freaks, Arvin. 
it's the first time I've seen you at free exams. So, and, yeah, and, as always, that was exactly correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and secondly, as I said to you earlier, it's the most impressive stand here. It always is. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't. And he didn't pay me to say that. But yeah, no, no, it's, it is very interesting. And uh, as I say, certainly, I think you know amateurs should be looking at this. Have a look at it. See what you think. I haven't actually sort of taken one apart and all that bits and pieces, but I think it would be something I'd be looking at. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I think we'll show up every year if this will take place next year. Uh, there are some rumors that it might not, but I don't hope so. The problem with rumors is yeah. there are always yeah. rumors. Yeah. And yeah. Look, that, yeah. uh, you know, there are more people here than last year, I believe. Yeah, but that's easy. Hey, yeah, well, I believe if so. If there would be more people than before Corona, then it would be really yeah, good. Yeah. That would be good, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I've taken a lot of your time. Thank you very much for giving me this quick interview. Nice looking product. I wish you every success. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank See you, you next year. See, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Thank you. Bye.